Okay, so the first step on this is to set up my layers, clicking on this. There's the tab, I'll move the tab out here, put this away, and it's named Army Bullet, that's fine. Down here, I've got my shape tools. I'm gonna go to my ellipse tool, and I'm gonna click and Option Shift. So I clicked and I held my mouse, Option Shift, dragging a circle out. Here's my color swatches. I'll bring that palette out here, and I'm gonna put these away. And um, I'm gonna select a solid navy blue. Okay, under here I'm gonna to go to my arrow, or my um, shapes tool, find the star, using this center point, because this is still selected, and I'm gonna click and hold it, option shift to create a star, let go of your mouse first, then your keys, and then go and assign white. Now if I hit the command key, it gives me the black arrow, because the black arrow is the shape, or the tool that I had prior, and whenever you hit the command key, it'll take you to the tool that you selected prior, so that's how that helps you to be faster and more efficient. So, command key, black arrow, deselecting by clicking in the negative space out here. Clicking away is what I'll say. Click on this. It's selected. I'm copying. Command C, command F, pastes it directly on top. But I want that to be used here in the center area as a red dot. Um, darker. Right click, arrange, bring it to the front. Hit the command key, and this is your bounding box. If I click and hold this, and I hit the option and the shift key, it constrains it from the outside in, and there's the red. Command key, click away, I'm done with the basic structure. All right, I wanna go through this in a hurry, so I'm gonna just go here instead of the key command. Click on this blue, and I want my gradient. I don't see the gradient option here, so again, window, workspace, essentials, and it resets all my tools. I'm going here, there's the gradient, dragging this tab out, and notice it says type here, you've got linear or radial. I showed you guys linear in class, let's do a radial for this test, or for this uh, video. And that's fine. But down here is the gradient tool, and I can click and drag it so that I get this kind of an elliptical, it looks almost like a dimensional badge now. Black arrow, moving on, I could actually save this here but you know what frankly I didn't show you guys this yet because we're running out of time but what I like to do is I like to get rid of all these swatches by going here and select all unused and hit the trash can I don't want any of the colors that I'm not using in any file that I have because when you give this over to somebody to output for you they're gonna if there's a you know it's Murphy's Law if something can go wrong it will go wrong they'll see a red or if you have two reds they won't know which one to use and inevitably they'll use the wrong one okay so I've got this swatch palette or color I'll drop it in there now I'm gonna select with the black arrow again the white and I don't have the light blue that I'm looking for so that's where the color swatch palette comes in and I can just click right here if I want or I can click here and then grab this and drag it in from there or I could have drug it from there and then right now, this stars, I want this to be a, again, radial. Grab this light blue, drag it and drop it directly over the blue. And then I'm going to go down here to get the same kind of a directional light source. And you can modify this there. Or you can drag this longer. Or you can click it here and move the whole thing. And this essentially is just right here on the spot, but it's essentially the same thing that you've got going here. Except that this offers you the opportunity to go in a direction. One more time, if I, if I, for some reason, added another color there and I went, oh, that's not supposed to be there, how do I get rid of it? You click, you drag it off. And lastly, command key, red. There's the red already selected in here, so I'll just drag it and drop it there. It's already set to radial, but I don't need the blue. Get rid of the blue. Gradient tool, click and drag a new uh, selection or select that red, drag it the way you want it to go, and then deselect. I don't like the hot spot there, so I'm going to click on that, move this out, that helped that. Okay, so I'm done with the gradient portion. I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't need this gradation. Click that out of the way. Black arrow again. Here's your marquee selection. I don't need to select the whole thing, as long as the, it grabs a part of it. Dragging this in the spot over here, and I'll click and I'll hold it. 
Option key and Shift key, and I'll drag a duplicate, letting go of the mouse, then letting go of the keys, and then Command D will duplicate the copy of the image as well as the space increment. Deselect it all. Click and marquee over all of these. I need this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to click on the bounding box here, and I'll hit the Shift key, constraining this proportion. I don't want to make them like this. Undo. I want the proportion. Shift click. Or I'm, I'm clicking and holding, and then I just hit the Shift, and I'll drag it over. I'll let go of the mouse, let go of the key. It's all still selected, so I'm going to click and hold with my black arrow here. Option Shift, which is going to, Option allows me to drag a copy, but the Shift constrains it. And I'm looking for the negative space between the prior lane or prior symbols to be the same. So here I was looking at this to determine the space here. Now I'm done with that drug copy, Command D, Command D twice. And this is all finished with the exception of centering it on my artboard. So I'm going to give you a bad example. What if you did it over here? Oops, I need this to be centered up. So again, marquee select all of it. Command X to cut. What if the page is down here and I pasted it? It's pasting it in the center of my artboard. That's not what I want. So undo that. If this is off to the left or to the right or something, you hit Command 0 to center your artboard. And then Command V will place the image that you had in the limbo state, that the pasteboard. Or the art, what is it called? The, um, yeah, the uh, clipboard. That's the limbo where the copies go and sit until you paste them. I centered up the artboard, which is the printable page here that you see. And I hit Command V, which pastes it directly in the center. And since this is centered, it put it directly in the center of my artboard. And then you just go up to File, Save As, and I put down Gardia Bullets. Maybe I would put down week one to make sure that everything is organized for myself. And um, Adobe Illustrator format. For those of you that are working in an earlier version, you want to go here to Illustrator format, where you want to save it, to the desktop perhaps. Hit save. And right here at the top, it's going to say version. and It's got an option here for you to go to CS4 or CS3. And that's where you save that so that you can get it home and work in that earlier version. Otherwise, CS4 is going to say, um, I can't read the future. What is this new program? I thought I was the end-all, be-all. Does that make sense? And one other thing. If you, paste, if you placed an image into here, you look. an image is called a linked file. So you would want to click on that to take that image that you placed with you in this file. Otherwise, if you place that image on the desktop, and you fail to do this, you save this file to your hard drive or your thumb drive or whatever, you take it home, it's going to say, um, where's that image that was on the desktop? And it's because you didn't link it to this file. Okay, So if this is gray, there's nothing to worry about. But if it gives you the option and it's black and you have a file in there that you failed to link, you better click on that to take it home with you or else you're going to lose some time. Hit OK, and that completes week one, exercise one.